this is the me coffee scale it's a very small nano coffee scale basically what i want to do in this video is kind of just show the overall buttons and how everything kind of works i'll show you how i pull a shot of espresso the automatic uh timer shut off that's the reason why i bought this thing really really high fidelity uh so it's you know it's very very accurate and i just think that this scale overall key to making a really really good shot if you're trying to do espresso so let's dive in and i'll show you some of the functions Alrighty, so this is how the scale comes um, straight from out of the box. It has this little pad on there. This kind of just, you know, dampens the plastic, doesn't let scratches get on the plastic. What really confused me at first is turning this thing on. There is an on switch on the back. Um, it is also chargeable. So you just place, plug this into the wall and it, it'll charge. The on switch, if you slide it to on, nothing turns on, which kind of confused me. But at the bottom right corner, if you just hold it, your scale will turn on. PR2 is for drip coffee. Also, this is really good for weighing out things. So if I were you, I would weigh your coffee grounds on this setting. And then once you want to do espresso, you're going to want to switch to PR1. When you take a cup, put it on the scale, it'll automatically tear. We're going to pull a shot figuratively. This scale will start recording. Still recording, and we'll stop pouring. Awesome. So we got 11 seconds, and we got 42.3 grams out. So the scale is amazing. Once you pull the cup off the scale, it should give you a countdown. Three, two, one, and it's ready for the next shot. So it's got some really, really good functionality. I would definitely run PR2. If you're doing drip coffee or you're measuring beans and the reason why is because this one will not automatically tear so you can put your beans in let's say we put our beans in let's tear it just hit the power button once it's teared put our 18 grams of beans and what you'll notice is it's not gonna automatically zero the scale so now I can pull that off, grind, and see if we get 18 grams back, and we do. To turn off the scale, you're just gonna hold the power button. That shuts it off, and then there's still the off switch on the back. We'll turn that to off. Now, the weird thing is, is when you plug in, when something that I don't really like is when you plug this into the wall, plug this in, all right? You don't see it charging you have to see it once you turn it to on if it blinks like this with the battery light that means it's charging once it's done charging this will be fully illuminated turn it off what i don't like is the skill needs to be powered to on to see that battery light so right now i don't know if it's charging or not with this turned off and it plugged into the wall so that's my only downside that i really just dislike with this scale how you filter between the modes you're going to double tap the power sign milliliters ounces grams to the tenths place milliliters to the tenths place and ounces to the thousands and then to start the timer you'll tap once to stop the timer you'll tap once And that resets it, double tap. I will go ahead and pull a shot. So now we will start the workflow. You'll turn it to on, hold the power button, power comes on. We're gonna leave it in PR2 and in grams. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because we're gonna weigh our beans. So for this case, I'm gonna take my fellow Opus. We're gonna place that on the scale. We're gonna zero it. I'm gonna bring this a little closer just so you can see. I'm gonna pour our beans in. And we're at 18. Go ahead and grind that. And we'll see if we're gonna get 18 grams out. 
So we're at 17.8. So obviously you can see there's a little bit of retention. I'll put that back under it. And we got 18 grams. So there it is with the fellow Opus. So now we're gonna take our scale. We're gonna place it underneath the Gaja Classic into espresso mode by double clicking the timer. One more time. Sometimes it doesn't go, there it goes. We're at zero, so we're good. So as soon as I take my cup and I place it on the scale, it's gonna automatically tear. Perfect. Now that it is teared, we can go ahead and pull our shot and it'll automatically start timing. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Now you know that 23 seconds, so we need to basically switch our grind setting down one click.